Well, it's, it, it's, it's a patchwork, isn't it? Mm. But the Alabama decision is, a, a, I mean, tragic, really tragic. Um, men t- takes them, that state, back into really the sort of 18th century. You know, and that's like going back to, the, to a d- very dark age indeed. Um, so it's, yeah, I feel very much sympathy for women who have no wherewithal to, to be able to get out of the state. I love that's, the fact that, that I answered about Alabama I, and you actually I, live in America. I thought it was well said. Yeah. Did, what, what, what do you... Did, what you do I think s- about it? You know, it's... It's... Uh, it's... We live in a... We live in such a scary time to be a woman because things you grew up your whole life thinking and taking as... I was born after the Roe v. Wade decision, so it took it as just a right. Mm. And then... It is a peculiar thing and a frightening thing to think that you could ever go backwards mm. in terms of your rights and you could have rights stripped away from you. So, uh, of course, that's startling and frightening. And, of course, the real problem is that women who have money or come from certain situations can always go to a different state to avoid the consequences of the new ruling. But the people who are affected the most by it are mm. people who are not of means. Mm. So that's the the hardest thing. Mm is a certain kind of person is making a decision for people that are look completely different for them. I mean, and it's I very depressing that two women were very key in making of that decision. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's kind of unbelievable. Yeah. But 